In today's video, I want to level the deck on my mower. This is a Simplicity Courier zero turn, and I'm getting a little bit of a wonky cut, so the first step in fixing that is to level the deck. Now, the first thing you want to do when you're leveling the deck is make sure your tires are properly inflated. This here is an Astro AI tire pressure gauge. I got it from Amazon for about 40 bucks. It comes in handy because you can check the tire pressure, you can add air, and you can let air out all at the same time. Most resources you find will say the small front tires should be around 14 PSI, and the back larger ones should be around 10 PSI. Your manual will also provide some guidance, but most lawn care experts will go with a little less than suggested. As you can tell here, most of my tires are close, so I am going to make some small adjustments. That way they're perfect. This way we can rule out a flat tire or overinflated tire being the cause of an unlevel deck. Now that we have tire pressure out of the way, the next step is find and read your manual. As you can see in these clips, I took a lot of actions that weren't required, like measuring the deck, you don't have to do that, and also trying to measure on uneven ground. Now, I wasn't able to find my deck manual, but thankfully Simplicity makes it easy to pull manuals from their site. I'm sure your motor's manufacturer has something similar, so be sure to get that before you get started. Now that we found the manual and set the tire pressure, the next step is to set the deck level at 4.5 inches. Alright, that looks pretty good. Now the next set of instructions in the manual is for measurements. The measurements we're going to take are we're going to set the blades side to side and we're going to measure the outside tips. That's going to level the deck from side to side. And then we're going to put the blades front to back and we're going to measure the outside tips again and that's going to level the deck. And as I mentioned before, I did make all my measurements outside first, which was on an unlevel ground. So let's go inside where it's level to make correct measurements. We're at four and three fourths. That side looks higher. We're at four. And we don't have nowhere to go from here. All we'll do is, if this over here is four, I'll try to get the other side to four. At least it'll be even. We're still over four and a half on this side. Holy. Four and three eighths, so a little bit under a half. <laughs> four and an eighth on that side. We're pretty close. All right. so four and a quarter on this side. Four and an eighth on this side. I'm just gonna adjust this, tighten it up, just one turn, and then it should be it's supposed to be four and a half, but we're at four and an eighth. And this looks a lot better. Now. Let's test front to back. This right here is three and seven eighths. That's where my thumb is on the back side. Four and a quarter. And this is how you adjust up or down. of an inch. Let's do the full turn. Quick tip here, I'm trying to level the deck perfectly level, but you're supposed to have a little bit of a pitch. Where it was at originally was probably better than where it's at when I get done with this, but I go back and fix that in later clips. Four and eight. Now we're at four and eight in the front. Four and eighth in the back. We're even. Let's measure side to side again. Four and a quarter. Uh, oh shit, four and three eighths. Four and a quarter. Four and an eighth. So you just pinch it in the back right there, the bottom of the blade. Flip it. And we got four. Four and an eighth. And then you cut yourself on 
tape measure and you're good. So we are even Steven. And by the eyeball test, that looks even. All right, so what we've been up to lately is we mowed three times since we last leveled this deck completely. And what we found out is you're not supposed to level a deck completely. In other words, it's not supposed to be, you know, complete level side to side, front to back. Side to side, yes, but front to back, there's supposed to be a little bit of pitch, about a half an inch. Uh, it can be at the, the, the high side, an eighth of an inch at the low side, but the, the sweet spot is a quarter inch pitch from front to back. So in other words, the front should be a little bit lower. So let's go ahead and measure and see where we're at and then change that pitch. Set the deck to four and a half. Excuse me, bunny. We are at four and an eighth here and four and right in between four and an eighth and four and a quarter. So we're pretty close. We could probably stand to lower this side just a tad, but we'll leave it there for now. Front to back. Four and an eighth. So cover it there. This is the part you can't see. Because the blade is actually on the other side, so you definitely can't see it. But what we'll do is we'll get a position, hold our thumb very hold our thumb on the back side. Get a good grip on it. Bring everything back to us. And we're right there at four and a fourth. So we're an eighth of an inch. We do have a little eighth of an inch pitch. So again, on our scale, that's the lowest you want to be. And you can be as much as a half inch, which will be here. So we're here. So from the three to the eighth, we can be as much as from the three to the half. The sweet spots are right in the middle at one fourth. So what we'll do is we'll lower that front just a tad. So lefty Lucy here. Again, we're four and an eighth. Let's see if we can get to four with, um, we'll go half turn. Half turn, drop just to four and a sixteenth. So we want to go another half turn to get the other sixteenth. From here to here. So a full turn should have got us an eight. Yep. Four inches. So we're four inches in the front. Four inches in the front, four and a quarter in the back. We're perfect.